We're live. What's going on, guys? We'll give it a few minutes, let everybody join on. Okay. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. It's been hot here, very hot. Yeah. JP, you gonna load up on the computer, or are you just gonna watch it here? Yeah, I'll get it. A lot of people talking about the six millimeter arc. A lot of people. Um, definitely has some potential there. Uh, for you predator hunters, that's something that some of you may want to be eyeballing if you're not wanting to go into a large frame format such as a 243 or 22 Creed. Or, you know, if you're trying to stay in an AR-15 platform this is probably a good one for you. Uh, so we messed with a lot of six millimeter variants in an AR-15. Uh, phone, phone's going crazy today. <laughs> phone has been going crazy. Anywho. Uh, share it. Share it. Everybody, if, they want to share the video, we got if you guys want to share the video, it'd be much appreciated. Um, this is, you know, we're very predator hunting minded with the rifles and everything. Um, we do a lot of PRS and stuff, and that's something that we're definitely uh, looking to get into in the future. Uh, definitely a lot more eager to come. Um, but this is a good predator hunting minded topic right here. Talking about ammunition. And uh, once again, I'm gonna say his name again, Brandon Kyle Krippenberger. When the 6R came out, it was definitely on me immediately about this caliber. And the way it was being advertised and the way it's stepped out um, could be done better for predator hunters. Seven and a half twist rate is pretty fast. We need to slow it down. We're trying to obtain stability, but we're trying to shoot lighter projectiles. We want fast and flat speed kills. In order to do that, you're going to shoot a lighter projectile. Um, something frangible. Something that's going to come apart, like a ballistic tip or so. Um, and with that being said, some changes have to be made in the platform and how it's being advertised. Uh, so, as y'all know, we talked the other day about the 6R and us offering it in a 10 twist variation. With a short throat chamber, we're kind of, I'm actually stepping away from the short throat per se, because these lighter 6 millimeter hunting bullets are not length sensitive. Um, that jump is really not, it doesn't really affect performance per se. Um, and it also allows you to still shoot those factory ammunitions that are in the heavier district, I guess you'd say. The 105s, 108s, and so forth. Um, with that being said, I'm trying to stay on topic here. You got Cerakote and everything else going on right now. But uh, so when me and Krickenberger started talking about the 6R, where we definitely see changes deemed necessary. Um, one big topic was ammunition. What factory ammunition offerings are going to be out there for this? Now we're going to offer that more predator hunting ability. Um, of course, warranty, and then they're, I'm sure they're going to have a few in there, like with the 87s and so forth, but we need to get lighter. We're trying to get faster. Um, so, Krickenberger suggested reaching out to a friend of his named Wade Chandler out of Texas, Ally Munitions. Um, JP's gonna have the, their Facebook attached to this. Um, he, he suggested talking to them and seeing what they thought about the topic and if they'd entertain the idea of, of doing some ammunition with us. Now, when I am discussing factory universal load 
Um, not just a 6 arc, but anything, especially something high pressure like a 22 Creedmoor. There's a big difference from volume dropping to actually weighing the loads one at a time. It's going to be a hell of a lot more consistent, uh, more accurate load volume. And there's my man right there. Mr. Crickenberger, you're on live DNA channel right now. We're talking about you right now on live. <laughs> yeah, I got you, bud. See? All right, guys. So, once again, I got to figure out where we were at. Come on. There's volume, a big difference volume dumping from volume way. dumping yeah. to doing your weight charge. When we hand load, we're doing it under the weight. Um, this is a problem with a lot of manufacturing sources because it takes a lot of time. And um, it's hard to make money when something takes a lot of time, kind of like Cerakote. Um, so by having these weight dispensed charges for each shell rather than a volume dump, there's going to be a lot more consistency in the load from shot to shot to shot meaning standard deviations are coming down your extreme spreads everything's a lot more consistent so talking with wade when they when he told me this that he uh, that they operate under weight dispensing that really uh, perked my eyes um, that made for some big advances and opportunities especially in the 22 creedmoor but six arc being one of them too and asked about his interest on uh, loading for DNA firearm systems rifles. And um, he definitely was very, or he is very interested. Uh, we're going to be getting some uppers to him, letting him run them, and developing these loads per, per, per these rifles to offer to the Predator Hunt industry. We plan to stock these ammunitions as well. In fact, we're going to send them a 243 to do as well. So, um, the guys that are thinking about 6R, but they're unsure about the ammunition source, um, this is a very good solution that is to come. It's not, it's not done yet. I mean, there's work to be done. Um, but this is a very good solution that's up and coming for the 6R, as well as you guys that have been eyeballing 22 Creedmoor, but you don't hand load, and I have I definitely noted to you that it's probably not in your best interest. We may have a good, good solution now. So we'll definitely be keeping you guys in the uh, up to date on how this project's going, and uh, look forward to you guys running some six arcs, 22 crees, 243s with this new ammunition, uh, with some very consistent and killable results. Uh, any questions, guys? We got uh, John Varnell saying hello from Arkansas. Hello, John. We got Brian Call saying hello from Iowa. Hello, Brian. Uh, Nolan Nowinski saying what's going on. Mr. Nolan, how are you? Yeah. Got a couple people on. Uh, oh, and the barrels. Barrels, uh, okay. So barrels are up for sale now. We're going to run a introductory sale on barrels for three weeks. Took normal cost of $330 on these barrels. Um, we're going to be selling for $280. So, Safe three works. weeks from today, three weeks. Give me a date. Man. Give me a date. Three weeks. Now, on these barrels, the order is, the reamer is still being manufactured or being made. Uh, so, production on the barrel cannot start until we have a reamer. But we're talking about probably three to three and a half weeks after the reamer has is in hand. July 14th. All right, so from now until July 14th, you can put in on this introductory barrel sale for the 6 arc for $280. All you gotta do is send an email to, I'm not sure if it's in the stream or not. I'll have it on the website to buy tonight. Okay, you can shoot me emails if, if you need further information on this. They're going to be 22 inch rifle length plus two 10 twist SPR contour 
which takes a 750 gas block. Make sure you got a rifle link plus two gas tube. If you don't have neither one, we got them here. Uh, 385 24 Email is sales at DNA firearm systems.com. Also, you can go online to our website and JP will have these barrels where you can just purchase them and not have to talk to me uh, <laughs> if you don't want to. Uh, I understand. Um, <laughs> but they will be available on the website as of today. Tonight, yeah. Tonight, Tonight they'll be up. All right, so All putting right. them in as we speak. So that's what we're looking at, guys. Um, like I said, if you have any further questions, just shoot me an email or give me a call. Phone number is 937-207-2025. Shop phone is 980-354-8117. Give us a shout. If you're interested in the 22 Creed, the name of it is coming. I can't tell you when. It might be a little bit, but we've already got some pretty good load data developed to get weighed in them at Allied Ammunitions. Uh, pretty close already right off the bat, so it shouldn't take real long. Um, so with that being said, you guys take care, be safe out there. Don't shoot any riders uh, or anything. Daniel uh, said, I didn't catch it for what calibers are we gonna have the ammo for? Definitely six R, 22 Creedmoor, and uh, 243 Winchester. And I'm sure we'll do some more. It's just a matter of. And now I gotta see. I want to. I want to know what you guys think. Is there any calibers out there that you're looking for um, to have ammunition sourced from? Yeah. Um, now on the six arc, where what bullet are we going with? Um, pretty much going to be looking at the 70 grain nozzle, yeah. ballistic tip, boat tail. Yeah. Um, we may play with some lighter stuff if those guys are interested, in like a 58. Like I said, you're trying to get as much velocity out of this cartridge as we can. So going lighter is going to get you some more speed. But um, Shoot me y'all's opinions. Let me know what you think. But so far, the talk that we've been having is really going to be based around that 70 grain nozzle uh, ballistic tip boat tail. That's what a lot of people are having great results with across the board from 243, 6 more and six or so and Nolan said I missed the last video on the arc how's it going to differ from my 243 it's going to be a tad slower but it's an A or 15 platform Nolan you're just yeah. fine with your 243 but yeah I think I know it shoots lights out so yeah and now Stacy Moody said uh 224 Valkyrie 1.7 and uh I'd be swapping barrels Daniel said barrel and ammo for a 22-250 is what he's interested in. What is that? Barrel and 250? 250, yep. And then uh, Stacy said six millimeter Creedmoor. Now, There's some different ideas. Now the 22-250 is something we don't typically play with in a gas gun configuration. There's guys out there that do. Um, you might want to look into them for that. But uh, as far as 22-250 in a gas gun, we just just a feed issue. We, we don't deem, we don't want to put our name on something that's just been known for having feeding issues. Um, we just don't want to risk our reputation of delivering quality, yeah. quality components and, and quality firearms as a whole. Yeah. Um, and then Stacy, Stacy Moody said six millimeter Creedmoor. Six millimeter Creedmoor, yeah. Um, see, that's the, the problem with the six Creed and Predator hunting. Now, I love it for shooting PRS, but the problem with the six Creed and Predator hunting is kind of like what the problem is going to be with the six arc in a Sammy Speck design with a seven and a half twist, seven twist, um, with a deep throat. Uh, it's not really ideal for those lighter projectiles. They're going to be spinning too fast. You're not going to get the velocity out, and the projectile could come apart. Uh, so. Six Creed, uh, definitely we can, we're gonna look into that, but you're gonna definitely wanna run it with a slower twist rate if you're trying to achieve the best results possible for Predator Hunt. Oh, and then going back to the 22-250 for Daniel, he said he's looking for a bolt from us, not so much a AR platform, bolt for, gun, for 22-250. Okay, bolt gun, yeah, that's no problem. 
Oh, yeah. Down, yeah. 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 Uh, JP, did you release that video we took a few minutes ago? Not yet. Okay. Coming soon. You guys that are bolt gun fanatics, um, we got some big news coming. Y'all just stay tuned. Got about an hour. About an hour. I'm gonna hold it for about an hour. Yeah, this is something I've been working on for some time, and uh, very, very proud to uh, announce. Um, so y'all will just have to wait one more hour, I guess. <laughs> see where that's going. But they got the fellow that's interested in 22, 250 bolt gun. It's definitely feasible, without a doubt. Yeah. So. Check out this video, give me a holler. Like I said, my cell is 937-207-2025. Please use that number respectfully. This two and three in the morning stuff, come on guys. I mean, <laughs> and don't, uh, that don't go over well. Um, shop phone is 980-354-8117. Can they, can they see this stuff? Yep, I have Email it. is right here, sales at dnafiresystems.com. Our website is www.dna www.dnafiresystems.com uh, The six arc barrels are up and listed. Yep. Or they will be tonight. Yep. So. Yep. Guys, if you have any more questions, give me a holler. It was, it was a blast.